Greetings, fellow YouTubers. Irv Lindsay here. How the heck are you? Uh, so it is March of 2020. We are in the midst of the coronavirus crisis nationwide, worldwide. And in today's video, what I wanted to do uh, is I want to talk about three times in Cincinnati history that we have had to deal with uh, a widespread disease breakout. All right, guys, there's been three times in Cincinnati history that we've had similar things happen. Um, and I want to go back to and talk about the 1918 Spanish flu. First of all, I think it's odd that here lately we've been calling things by a scientific name or a, a more official name rather than the Spanish flu. The Spanish flu, it was uh, at the end of World War I. It broke out in Europe, Europe among the troops. The Spanish flu was actually an H1N1 virus. Uh, it had single digit death rates, if I'm remembering. I'm not gonna, I think it was in the, the three to 5% range. It hit Cincinnati and when it hit Cincinnati, it hit pretty hard. And uh, they were reporting just a few cases, but then it became apparent that the people that are supposed to be reporting on cases actually weren't reporting on cases the way they're supposed to. What happened was is that it made it here and uh, they immediately, now tell me if this doesn't sound familiar, they closed down all the schools. They saw the kids home uh, and they were they did this for a period of time. And I think it was, I think they did it for about a month, a month and a half. So maybe, maybe five, maybe six weeks. And things started to get better. The number of deaths that they were seeing from the Spanish flu uh, started to go down and they weren't seeing new cases and so they said hey it's okay send the kids back to school they, they kind of jumped the gun on it a little bit and of course the moment they did this it started spreading the infection again to people that hadn't had it so uh, they closed everything back down again and yes during this period of time uh, restaurants were closed there was no public meetings at all except for some some uh, political rallies that, that they did allow. Obviously, why would politicians ban their own rallies? Another major health crisis that happened in Cincinnati history was the tuberculosis outbreaks that happened. And historically, it wasn't at any one point in time, but uh, it got so bad that they built an entire uh, infectious disease hospital and then um it wasn't big enough it was somewhere somewhere near downtown uh and it just kind of got really big and so they bought a farm out in an area called lick run and uh they uh kind of used the farm for for uh people who were sick and had tuberculosis and it just got bigger and they kept building on and adding buildings that become this huge conglomeration of hospital buildings that we now that we came to know as dunham hospital uh and in um as the 21st as the 20th century moved along tuberculosis began it got, we cured it it was no longer an issue they identified what germ it was and all that and the hospital itself fell into decline was eventually torn down and today we know it as uh dunham recreation area uh, a couple of the old buildings are still there that were used to be, but the main hospital building was completely torn down. If you want to watch that video, I'll try to put a pop-up. You should see a slide out up, up top. Another major epidemic that Cincinnati dealt with, again, on more than one occasion, was cholera. Now, cholera was uh, a epidemic that came and went. Um, it kind of came in waves. It happened in the early and mid 1800s, and uh, and it came down the canal. Now the canal uh, no longer exists, but there used to be a canal that went right up, and and a lot of you already know this. It went right up Central Parkway, uh, where modern day Central Parkway is today, and uh, it was just this canal, and it was filled with water, 
and it was not clean water. It was just kind of stagnant water, <clears throat> but it was an easy water source for um, the the people, especially the German population that, uh, that lived in the uh, area known as Over the Rhine, and a lot of people that did not, we didn't have running water in their houses, and it was an easy source of drinking water, especially for people that worked that worked on the canal. Canal workers were hit really hard with cholera, and it was it, you couldn't catch it from another person. It wasn't it wasn't uh, touch. It, you didn't catch it by touch. You, uh, you caught it from dirty water. Cholera got so bad in, the, in 1849 that the graveyards started to fill up. And as you guys know, St. Joseph Cemetery out in Price Hill uh, did fill up. And new land was purchased down at the end of West 8th. And that's the new St. Joseph Cemetery or St. Joseph's New Cemetery. And... Uh, that did not stop them from using the old cemetery because I believe it was expanded later on. Uh, I'm gonna do a video uh, driving through St. Joseph's old cemetery that should be on my uh, channel in the coming week or two. Those are times in Cincinnati history that we made it through uh, major disease epidemics. And in two of the cases, uh, in the case of cholera and uh, and tuberculosis, um, you know, they they were <clears throat> they were in, in time were cured, uh, or in the case of cholera, they just learned to sterilize water. <laughs> um, but it's uh, you know, the 1918 flu is probably the most like what we're going through now. Uh, it was a virus, and it was airborne. It was a respiratory infection. And we had to close down schools and businesses and we had to quarantine ourselves to stop the spread of the virus and um, you know this will probably go down in history in a similar way that that also did uh, just because it does mark one of those times where we have to close everything so guys uh, comment down below how you and your family are dealing with this how you're doing and uh, do you need toilet paper? <laughs> uh, that was one of the hallmarks of of the the virus in 2020. Here is everybody went out and bought toilet paper. Yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your week. Keep fighting a good fight. Stay safe. And hey, I'll see you in the next video.